for pit strategies. And now there's two stop. That's going to create, you know, much of a problem. Because usually people just pit midway and they are saved. But now there's two stop. And one stop is only under 15 laps. So anyways, three, two, one. Hello and welcome to a beautiful night here in the Monaco Grand Prix. One of the most prestigious tracks in Mon uh, in FM1. Today we have four drivers with us. It's, um, we have the two teammates from LeBron James, Tipsy Swagger and uh, Joshua Williams. We have Pani Pui. Uh, uh, driver, Doppelganger, and A Enhancer driver, Matrix Shoop. Now, Doppelganger has got some history in this track, winning uh, once in Season 1 and once in Season 2, uh, totaling to two wins here in this beautiful track. Matrix Shoop also got some history in here, as he went from P4 up to P2 with amazing pit strategy. But because of recent regulations, that the pit strategy will be changed. It's now gone from only one pit stop to two because of how long the races are now, from 15 laps to 26 laps for this specific race. Now here, for the first qualifier here in Monaco, it will be Tim C. McSwagger. Everybody into your pits and Arnoff, probably fix your pit as well. It looks like a green screen. Um, okay, fine. <laughs> uh, guys, do you want me to shift the grid so that it's easier on the start to overtake, or should we just keep it as original? I Josh, what boat do you have? Yeah, I th no, no, no. I think we should switch it because every time we get uh, stuck, at the, every okay, time we okay, play sure. Monaco, it okay, keeps on sure, getting okay. stuck. So, what is this, Arnoff? A frog, Arnoff? Uh, I wasn't bothered to so, change it. So Arnoff, sh should we just change it to the original? Uh, to uh, not original, to allow yes, us. Yes, so... make it bigger. Yeah, okay, so... Yeah, then yes. make this part go on to the side. Okay. Yeah, then just make it so it just moves one block to yeah. whatever side it's on. Yeah, yeah, I got that. Okay, Freddy, line up in the P1 position. This is... Even though like this is changing from the original, you know... Way it's still hard to track. It, it, it's not about hard, it's just like... It's to reform the, heart. the the thing. Anyways, um. No oh, hell no, what the hell? And here, I don't care. And here it is, our first qualifier for Monaco, Tipsy Miss Swagger. Give me a nod if you are ready. Okay. Uh, wait. Let me just. Get I have my time ready. Okay. Ready, go a bit front. Gives you a hit start. Okay. Anyways. It's going to be three, two, one, and the wall is down. Tipsy gets a good start here. He has gotten a bit more experience from the previous seasons, and he's actually put pretty quick in this track, actually. Uh, as he goes down the first few turns, he's coming up to Hairpin Sabel here. Uh, don't uh, bully me for pronunciation. I can't be bothered. And here it is, down the main straight, of, and he finishes it. 2309 which is pretty was pretty quick pretty quick yeah that's that, quicker that's, what I got as well. that's quicker than um my world record <laughs> well, you're joking quicker than my world ro uh, record uh, yeah 23 uh, 15 <laughs> 20, 2315 was my world record but this this is a different variation so that's 239 for um tipsy uh, up next will be matrix shoop Oh lord, which, we have Which us. puts uh, Tipsy in provisional pole position. Wait, isn't this the one where I break the record? Yeah, you got yeah. you did a 22.91. Josh is goaded in it. <laughs> oh, oh. Got some tough competition. Uh, jo Josh is like a veteran at this, to be honest. Okay, anyways. Uh, and here it is, our second qualifier matrix. You give me a nod if you're ready. Okay, it's gonna be three, two, one. He gets off pretty quick. Now he's got some experience in this track, but with all the lag, oh, pretty quick down. Um, I think that's I don't Portier. Know, uh, Portier, yeah. Uh, coming up to help in Sabel here, and he's going down the turns pretty quickly. Coming up to the Mirabu, if I'm not wrong, and down oh, wow. the main straight for 22-16, and oh, that's pole oh, position for Mr. Shoop, 
as dope uh, as he does a twenty two sixteen. Um, breaks my record. And next up next will be awesome. Doppelganger after uh, just saying about his record. Uh, <sighs> that was a really good lap from Matrix Tube, uh, but uh, doesn't undermine um, uh, Tipsy in any way because that is, his lap was pretty quick. Uh, give me a nod if you're ready. The beat. Okay. Okay. Three, two, one. He starts off his lap pretty well here as he goes down the turns. And he's one of the most experienced here. And here he is going. It's pretty quick here. Um, coming up to Hairpin Sabel, passing the turtles. And it is just majestic how the, the way he actually goes around this track as he comes to the main straight and finishes it. 23 seconds on the dot. So it puts him in second place and Matrix Group in pole position. Third place goes to Tipsy. Up next will be Joshua Williams. Joshua will either make or break my pole. Joshua, give me a nod if you're ready. Okay, it's going to be three, two, one. He gets off to a good start as he's really quick right now. He's the last person. To possibly break the pole position of Matrix Group here. He goes down the turns. Coming up to Hairpin Sabel. And does it in oh. a smooth fashion. That was beautiful to be oh, honest. Man. Down the oh, Hairpin. The down the oh, main straight. Nice. And he finishes it. 20, 22.93. 20, 20 <laughs> uh, I got 22.50. Uh wait. So where does the where does that just put half him? it? Just half it. Uh, was it twenty two? So wait. Did anybody note down what the beat got? Twenty three on the dot. Oh, yeah, twenty three on the dot. So I got twenty two point one five. Okay, so it's matrix to pole position. Second place goes to Joshua Williams. Uh, doppelganger <laughs> third place, and fourth goes to Tipsy. Tipsy. To be honest, uh, that was a good lap from you, Tipsy. Like you did better than that was an amazing than my world like record. Really Anyways, cheers, bro. And I'm gonna do the intro. Okay, three, two, one. Hello and welcome to a beautiful night here in the Monaco Grand Prix, one of the most prestigious FM1 tracks in FM1. As we go round to the grid, it's P1 pole position. Goes to Matrix Shoop with a, a, a astounding um, time with a 22.15. As Joshua did a 22.60, somewhere around there. And 23 on the dot is Doppelganger. And Tipsy, 20, uh, 23.09. Breaking my world record, not Josh's, but breaking my world record with only one lap of experience. Anyways, everybody, give me a nod if you're ready. Okay, it's 26 laps around the most prestigious track in FM1. You have to pit twice in this Grand Prix. It's going to be... 3, 2, 1. Lights are Joshua! Williams jumps on the gas pedal as he gets a good start to almost contest for Matrix Shoop here. He's fighting it out with Matrix Shoop. Tipsy fighting it out with Doppelganger. It's pure lag right now here in the track as Joshua is looking for an opening. Matrix Shoop messes up. Joshua looking for an overtake. He does it. He does it as Matrix Shoop pulls it back around for a switchback. Joshua into the pit. He's got to pit. Wait, he can't pit. That's a two-second no, penalty to Joshua as it's uh, it's the first lap. He cannot pit until past five I laps. In the pit. Um... What do we do? I don't know. I've never had this situation. Um, no penalty, guys. Like, is that no fair penalty. enough? I don't know. No. Because he got okay. No penalty for Joshua. FI decisions as he got pushed into the pits. Mitchell should getting a good lead away from the experienced doppelganger. Uh, ta uh, Josh. Uh, that doesn't count as your pit, by the way. Just so you still have to do two pits. And there it is. I, I think that's fair enough. Uh, and there it is. Is Matrix Shoop going down the turns. Have you been counting the laps, Arnoff? Yes, third lap for me. Third lap. And here it is. 
uh, the third lap of the race here. Doppelganger, really quick right now. Trying to catch up. Joshua, even quicker. He's lost time, but overtook his teammate. And is now closing up on Doppelganger. Doppelganger under quick, uh, under a lot of pressure here. As Joshua is closing in the distance to catch him. It is uh, now the fourth lap as Matrix Shoop has got a very big, big gap from Doppelganger. Let's watch this. Down hairpin Sabel. There it is. Matrix Shoop going pretty quickly. And Doppelganger holding his position. But under very big pressure from Joshua. As he's closing in the distance. It's lap 5. People can pit now. People can pit now. As it is now um, Tipsy. Actually pretty good in this track. F for his first time here. But it's Matrix Shoop. Big lead in Monaco here. Joshua closing in. Let's see this. <laughs> Doppelganger fighting it out as Matrix Shoop goes into the pits and is Doppelganger overtaking um, uh, uh, Matrix Shoop through the pits. Joshua goes through. Joshua goes through. He goes and takes P1 as Doppelganger messes up in the turn. He also gets overtaken by Matrix Shoop as Joshua uh, pulls down right on the outside. Let's see that overtake again as we see Joshua just slip right through him. It was an amazing overtake. Overtake. As it is lap 7 of 26, Matrix Shoop in 2nd place, Doppelganger dropped down back to 3rd place. But Matrix Shoop under big pressure from Doppelganger. Uh, Josh, please count your laps. As it is about to be lap 8 soon. And Matrix Shoop lost, um, made a bigger distance from Doppelganger here. As Doppelganger dives into the pit in lap 8 here. And there he is, out the pits he goes, as Joshua, uh, as Joshua still hasn't pitted yet, goes into the pits now, messes up a bit there, but will Matrix Shoop overtake him? And Matrix Shoop does, as Joshua is slow in the pits, he gets out really slowly there, maybe a few, uh, maybe two, three seconds more than he would like to be, as Matrix Shoop gains the lead. In lap 9? Yes. Lap 9. As Joshua is right behind him. Let's see where Doppelganger is. He's not far behind from Joshua. But it is lap uh, 10 now yeah. of 26. 16 laps to go. They still have to do one more pit as Joshua is speeding along. Trying to catch back up to that P1. The LeBron James team actually doing pretty good this season getting a few wins uh getting a few high placements here and there doppelganger seeming really slow in what used to be his best track in almost every season his matrix shoot going down hairpin sabel in lap 11 15 laps to go joshua williams right behind him 12 right now 12 laps to go now uh uh no, it's lap 12 yeah i know Oh yeah, my bad. It's lap 12 right now. And now the racers uh, are uh, are now seven laps. Uh, I know two laps past the uh, the allowed pit lane. Uh, yeah, pit, oh, pit lane entry. Pit lane entry. Um, and there it is. Mister Shu messes up as he was talking to me. It's Joshua climbing on the opportunity. He is a Really close, trying to put the pressure on Matrix Shoop as they go through Herpin Sabel. Really, really big fight here as Joshua just messes up on Herpin Sabel, loses a bit of time as Matrix Shoop starts lap 13. Let's watch this as Doppelganger is really far behind. He's been pushed, probably even held up by Tipsy as Matrix Shoop is actually really close to lapping him. It's about to be lap 14 of 26. 12 laps pit to pit. go. And Matrix Shoop into the pits. Joshua gains the lead as Matrix Shoop takes that extra uh, and early pit to possibly do a um, over undercut. Overcut. Yeah. Overcut. Under or undercut. undercut. Uh, possibly trying to do an undercut on Joshua here as it is about to be. You, you pit it on lap what lap? Uh, it's about lap to be lap 15. Oh. Uh, lap 15. It's now, uh, now lap 15, yeah? Yeah. Now lap 15, as Doppelganger has been held up by Tipsy. Um, 
Yeah, but I'm pretty yeah. sure you're third place, right? The beat you lapped him. Yeah. Yeah. The beat into the pits. Lies, Joshua bro. into the pits. I've been I've been in front of him forever, bro. Yeah, but he, he basically came up on you. And Joshua messes up his pit, loses the lead again from the same old fashion as uh Make Shake Shoop gains back the lead. It's now a fight between Joshua and Make Shake Shoop here in lap 17 of 26. Nine laps to go. Matrix Shoop regaining the lead. The undercut, uh, the undercut, what working perfectly as the yeah, fucking pit. Uh, uh oh yeah, my bad. No. Loads of boats. As it is currently, Matrix Shoop in the lead. Joshua has messed up a bit, so the gap is bigger and bigger than ever. It's about to be uh lap. I don't know. I don't remember. The on of what lap? Uh, it's lap uh, 18. 18, oh, eight, 18, 8 laps to go. As uh, oh, Arnold, uh, as it is just getting closer and closer. Do Joshua Williams looking down the inside. Both oh the of them going side by side. Joshua Williams makes the move. Going down the inside. Make sure shoot. Passes him back. It's Joshua looking down the outside. Joshua making the move. This is a great sequence of fighting here. Make sure shoot. Making a move. As Tipsy messes up Make shoot. Making Joshua go. go into the lead. As it is. Oh! It is big fight. As Mitchell, no. as Tipsy is imp uh, impeding everybody here, on not by accident and not on purpose. That's what I meant. As as it, there was a big sequence of overtakes between Joshua and Mitchell Shub there, going side by side, almost every second of the corner. As it is about to be, uh, mm, lap twenty, lap twenty. Of 26, six laps to go. No VSC so far in this uh, race. As Joshua has a big lead away from Matrix Shoop from that crazy, crazy um, situation with uh, Tipsy there. Tipsy gliding over each corner. Joshua might have some trouble passing his teammate here. As it is actually pretty smooth. Tipsy, let's go. Uh, oh, VSC, VSC, Joshua, slow down. Joshua, slow down. As it is five laps left of the race, Tipsy, speed up, pass by, uh, pass everyone. Josh, slow down, slow down, Josh, slow down. It's VSC, VSC. Uh, Tipsy, you are allowed to pass everybody. Uh, Josh, slow even more. Oh, what are you? Oh, okay, yeah. And there, and there it is. It is five laps left. Uh, a little late for VSC, but I I'm calling it as uh, Tipsy spun near the <sighs> first chicane. Dopaganger catching up back to the group after seeing uh, so many laps just alone in the wilderness of Monaco here. Uh, Tipsy catching up as it is VSC ending this lap. It's oh, whoa, 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 that was a little unfair. Oh, no. As it is now four laps to go in this race. Uh, Josh, you can speed up a bit. Just a bit. At this four laps to go in this race. Uh, Leila, you're going to tip over the table. Um, it is four laps to go in this race. It is lap 22 of 26. It's been a very packed race between the top two here. Joshua Williams and Matrix Shoop. As both of them have been fighting over Hairpin Sabel. And all the other turns, even um, the second chicane of the track here, VSC in this lap, VSC in this lap, but you know, don't go side by slide, side like a certain someone. Um, and, oh, no. and it's going to be green flag soon in three, oh, no. two, one, green flags out, and John Matrix Shoot takes the opportunity, John Joshua. Gets pushed down to uh, P3 as Doppelganger and Matrix Shoe get the opportunity. Three laps left in the race. Oh, oh and no. Matrix Doppelganger messes up. Joshua Williams overtakes him. Joshua rushing for that P1 position as Matrix Shoe. Let's let's get that replay again. Matrix Shoe getting the opportunity to, opportunity to go down the inside, which actually opens up an opportunity for Doppelganger to go second place. But that quickly was switched around as Joshua Williams somehow finds a gap between the beat 
uh, doppelganger and makes the move for P2. It is about to be uh, lap, what lap? 25. lap 25, pen lap. penultimate yeah, lap. lap of uh, the race here, lap 25 right now. Joshua is in rush mode to catch up. He's speeding. He is whole, really fast right now. Trying to catch up to Masek Shub to possibly, possibly get him just before the last lap ends. And it's about to be last lap. Masek Shub is under real pressure here to not make any mistakes. Because Joshua is pure consistent racing right now. As it is lap 26, last lap of the race. Masek Shub speeding around. About to get uh, down Herpin Sabel, Joshua Williams, and there it is, Mr. Shub down the last chicken, and it's the guy who came in second, yeah. second in, in, uh, in Monaco, season two, uh, season three, uh, no, season two, winning Monaco season four, two seasons later, and finally winning the most prestigious track, the track he built by hand. Amazing race from him. And now we are off to the um, interviews with first place finisher, Matrix Tube. Matrix Tube, congratulations on P1. What an amazing race from you. Oh my god, that, that was by far the toughest race I've ever gone through. Like, my heart has been beating for like the past 10 laps. And that was definitely a really, really pressurizing moment in my life but i just want to say congratulations to jj wills and doppelganger and uh tipsy mcsquagger for you all doing a great job jj wills really did well uh defending uh but then in the later stages of course we all were under pressure so it was clear for us to make mistakes during uh, parts and even i was a victim of it Talking about being under pressure, um, during the last few laps, Joshua Williams was right on your tail throughout the whole race. What uh, w Did you feel the pressure from him? Yes, uh, I definitely say I felt the pressure because even though I could see the gap was pretty comfortable, I was just scared because I was making minor mistakes, clipping the pixels of every corner mm -hmm. and uh, that slowed me down like ever so slightly so i was definitely scared but uh yeah uh just because of the driving and the whole entire setup of the boats everything went perfect yeah talking about your race results um you this is the first time you've got pole position and won how how do you, how will a enhancer be celebrating this monumental achievement i mean we can't be celebrating this completely because one of our drivers is in present mm -hmm. so once he joins back with for racing we'll definitely uh celebrate this but we cannot be very extremely happy uh, as we still have a long season to go ahead and a pretty big championship fight well congratulations on p1 your first p1 uh after a while <laughs> Um, uh, since season two, um, good luck in the next race, which, if I'm not wrong, is Al Jala Oh no, De Jorge, De Jorge. Which, yeah. which is one of the most um uh, favorite tracks in FM1. So good luck in that one. Um, now we're going to P2 finisher Joshua Williams. And here we are interviewing P2 finisher Joshua. How was that race for you? Quite annoying. Uh, why is that? Oh, because at, at the, the last little bit, I was first. Mm -hmm. And then that VSE made me go down to third. Well, I mean, you did, in the end, go up to second. So, is that still a win for you? Yeah, it was a really fun race. Well, up next is De Jorge. You've had an oak. You actually led a few laps in De Jorge. You excited for that one? Yeah. Well, congratulations on P2. We're going to move on to P3 finisher. Uh, good luck in the next race. Um, and here we are interviewing P2 finisher Doppelganger. P3 finisher, no? Oh, P3. Sorry. P3 finisher Doppelganger. <laughs> How, how's that race for you? No comment. Um, well, throughout the race, uh, we we saw you really in the back, getting held up by a, uh, a back marker, uh, Tipsy. 
um any uh, anything to say <sighs> um uh, I just wanted to uh, retire at the start um, immediately when I got held back. So uh, no comment. So yeah. Well, well, uh, you do have the Jorge up next, which you have. I'm not sure if you've raced on it or not, but um, yeah, I have. Uh, you're excited for that one. Do you think uh, for the Pani Pui team? Do you think that's going to be a good race? <sighs> Uh, yeah, I think uh, the Pani Pui team uh, will have uh, a significantly advantage since our t uh, my teammate uh, actually. Um, uh, yeah, so I think uh, the Pani Pui team will do really great there, and yeah, we I the Pani Pui team will not look on this race for its futures um, future and en en uh, endeavors, and mm -hmm. I think any any race in here besides Shibatori is basically trash. So, I am really sad about um, losing um, the the Monaco Grand Prix, but you know it, I'm, I'm happy for uh, P1 finisher Matrix Two since he created this map but lost many, many, many times. So I must congratulate him on winning the Monaco Grand Prix. Eh, yeah, no comment. <laughs> well, my last question to you is, um, well, throughout the season, you and well, you specifically have been dominating <laughs> this season. Um, yeah. uh, does this not loss, but does this P3 finish f uh, hit hard for you? Uh, yeah, hundred percent. Yeah, I think uh, I should have won. At least I should have gotten at least like P2 instead mm -hmm. of P3. I was held back by back marker, and I understand how Arna feels and Nizam feels every day playing this track. So I wouldn't. Um, so it's good to be in their shoes now and yeah i i congratulate josh for actually fighting against matrix soup and matrix soup just got lucky today and yeah he just got lucky anyways congratulations on p3 still one point to celebrate about uh good luck in the next mm -hmm. race there jorge it's gonna be an interesting yeah. one thank you we're gonna move on to p4 finisher tipsy you got lucky on off i swear how yeah, was that race for you, Tipsy? So, oh, I really so enjoyed it, to be honest. Uh, it was really fun to see um, everyone race, and i um, happy that Matrix 2 run it. Yeah, I mean, even <laughs> off, off the bat, you even off the bat, you actually seem to really, um, was it? You actually seem to be, usually in the previous seasons, you were at the back, but now in this season, you actually seem to be in the action, like, uh, especially in the first few laps where you actually were contesting for p3 p2 uh, what do you think of that big jump i think it's uh, excellent to uh, make that big jump and hopefully i can win one soon yeah definitely um so we have the jorge coming up um what's your thoughts on the track um i've never raced on it so i don't really know fair enough uh, last question to you is um with your teammate coming in second, um, <laughs> with your teammate coming in second, uh, do you think the LeBron James team uh, is moving up in the standings? Definitely. I feel like uh, we can have a good chance of getting first place as well. Well, congratulations on P4. Uh, good luck in the next race, uh, which might be a bigger one since we might have an extra racer. But yeah, uh, good luck. Okay. Uh, thank you. Uh, see you in a bit. See ya. And 